whoa no it's not blush it's powder hi guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to unbox and try on my ipsy ultimate and i'm so freaking excited i also did some polls so i'll quickly let you know i did ask in my community tab and on instagram and what i was asking was basically do you like the unboxing and try on together do you like the try on with all the bags separately and this time it's leaning a little bit more to try on with unboxings and i asked a while back because i was getting requests for each but i felt like if i did it one way I would literally get a request for the other way it's still kind of split up the majority of people are actually saying like it doesn't matter either way is fine but between the two other options a little bit more than half said to do it together but I think what I'm going to wind up doing is occasionally doing the unboxings like I did last month where I wait and save all the bags but I think for this month I'm just going to try the things on as we go but I'm going to try to keep it really quick so I'm already rambling I can't seem to do anything else. I am having some Powerade because I actually feel like really queasy. I don't know what's going on. Do not ask me if I'm pregnant. I'm not. I'm ready to dive in. So obviously I have nothing on my skin. So we are going to try some skincare out. I did put a little bit of an essence on my skin and I also put some oil on. So I may have to go rinse this oil off my skin before we dive into the rest. I actually just wasn't thinking about it. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna do the unboxing and the try on. But I was in there just slathering the oil on like I wasn't about to do skincare ignore me oh what is this oh this is cute so this is the nature lab tokyo destination perfect hair and it has three items and these are pretty big sizes we're gonna have to open this up i've actually tried them before and i really really enjoyed them so it comes with the perfect repair shampoo conditioner and the treatment mask do i already have this mask and a little guy i might have it and it's 2.5 ounces remind me i think you can travel with that is it three ounces and under I think but these and then the 1.7 ounce mask so I really enjoyed this you guys know I am ride or die for my grande hair shampoo and conditioner it is like the number one favorite but when I did switch it up and tried this out I was really impressed so every once in a while I like to switch it up um, but usually I always go back to the grande but this will definitely be it for that we do have some sheet masks I'm just gonna be like annoying I'm not in the mood to do a sheet mask I haven't I've waited way too long in the day but this is a pack of masks and it's hello organic natural and organic facial sheet masks this one is coconut and rose water with a eucalyptus sheet the next one is Adlai and black bean with a eucalyptus sheet and then the other one is peach and lime same eucalyptus sheet so these are kind of interesting they are vegan so if you're vegan or looking for vegan skincare you can check it out they look cool I have so many sheet masks I was actually going through all my skincare today and like grouping my sheet masks together and I refuse refuse to add any more sheet masks to my collection right now so these will go in a giveaway at some point or give to a friend or something we do have from gold faden brightening elixir protection repair brightening serum it's for photo damaged skin yes lord i'm getting spots on my forehead i don't know when that started but this is frulic acid vitamin c and vitamins b and e okay this is interesting advanced brightening antioxidant serum to protect against photo aging and free radical damage while leaving skin hydrated and radiant so let me see if there's anything else we have a pure Lee's matcha green tea and lemon detoxifying charcoal mask so let me actually wash my face really quick how long does this mask take 10 to 15 minutes we can work with that window all right so this one's again matcha green tea and lemon and it's to detoxify 10 to 15 minutes and then remove with water two to three times a week i really like perlis like everything that i've tried their watermelon stuff is really good Ooh, it's got some little little gritty graininess to it you are meant to remove this in a circular motion circular motion to exfoliate i think i got enough i'm not gonna rub it around too much because we're gonna do that after this smells like lush smells a lot like some of my favorite lush bath bombs and let me tell you that brings like heartache to me because this house is so much nicer than our last house but the one thing that it doesn't have is a big tub my garden tub from my other house I miss so much we have like a regular tub but it's not special we haven't talked about the bag yet obviously but 
I'm kind of glad I forgot because I can show you now. Ooh, this is a corduroy bag. Now I love that this is corduroy. I think that's really interesting. But honey child, this color scheme is killing me. And it's very fall, don't get me wrong. And it reminds me of something like 70s that I've seen before, maybe from a movie or something. But I get it, like I totally get the styling and I love the feel of corduroy. I used to have some brown corduroy pants when I was in like middle school that I loved. Like I loved them so much. Um, even like way past them being like a cool thing to wear, obviously. I mean, I do like the style of the bag. It's just not my like color scheme at all. Why did I think this wasn't in here? I feel like they weren't doing a card and now here's a card. Okay, well let me quickly, while I have this mask on, tell you a little bit more. So the three piece hair set, $9, is that all? Like, is, is that shampoo and conditioner that affordable? Because maybe I need to get some. The one a day sheet mask set, only $7.50. Really affordable, so not bad at all. And the mask that we put on is the Pure Leaves. This one is a deluxe sample. The full size is 50 grams and goes for $35. This guy is 14 grams. Not a bad, like, amount. Like, Mm, a little bit over 25% of it. So I feel like $9 worth maybe if I'm doing that math in my head correctly. So that's really cool. And then the other product that we already talked about, which will be the next thing that I use, is this Gold Faden MD Brightening Elixir. And this goes for $80. That's pretty pricey. It has vitamins C, E, B3, B5, and ferulic acid. Instead of using the serum all over your face, you can use it as a spot treatment to help fade stubborn marks and dark spots. I'm definitely going to try that on my forehead. Forehead. And then quickly, we have one product in here that is a body product, and I thought we could try it out. This is also a deluxe sample. This is the Cake Naturally Luxe Beauty Milk Made Totally to Die For Indulgent Body Milk Cream. So you can actually purchase a size like this, and it's $3.99, so really affordable. Wow, all of these um, things that we're talking about so far, apart from the serum, are really affordable. I'm just going to use this on my hands because I have been washing my hands like 47 times oh, that smells really good it's got like a rich scent to it i was expecting when it said cake i was expecting like you know sugary sweet kind of thing it smells really really good all right well believe it or not i've been sitting with this mask on for about 10 minutes so i'm gonna add some evian and start to massage it All right, so it's time to go in with the brightening elixir. And let me tell you while I'm pumping this that that scrub or mask left my skin feeling really nice and smooth. Um, but I need a little hydration because it has some charcoal in it. But my skin doesn't feel like overly stripped or overly dry. I just need to hydrate. So this one has some hydrating properties, so that's good. Oh, that really sank in. My skin was like, yes, bitch, hydrate me. Okay, that feels so much better already. Okay, that's good. <laughs> we do have a little mini ice ceramide moisturizing cream from Sunday Riley. I can't remember if I ever got this one. I think I've only had minis. I thought it was a thicker consistency. I'm almost 100% certain that this was a thicker consistency when I first saw it, like when it first launched. Maybe I'm remembering wrong, but I feel pretty certain. I do like Sunday Rally products a lot. Like, if you're ever curious, I haven't found a Sunday Rally product that I don't like yet. And I really want that new pink drink spray that came out. It's got ceramides in it as well. It's got other ingredients that are hydrating and help with your complexion. Helps with redness. Ooh, that does feel really nice. It's just kind of one that, like, it doesn't glide on. It kind of, like, gonna, like, pull a little bit. So, I'm gonna pat had that one. So that's all of the real like skincare products. I do have a primer and it is the No Problem Priming Water. Now I've had this before. It goes for $23. So I think it's a reasonable price. I do still have mine that I have been using. So I'm going to use this right now. And then I'm going to do a lot of makeup off camera because I only have a few products. I have a couple for eyes. I have a brush. I actually have three products for eyes and a brush and a lip. So I'm gonna prime with you guys. This essence doesn't feel extremely watery. Like it has a sheen to it. If you can see how shiny my hand is, it's kind of like thick and hydrating, like a thick watery consistency. Wow, that was the worst explanation. That's what I do, right? It has hydration in it. It feels amazing. And it leaves like this just 
teensy tackiness but kind of like when you first put on a moisturizer and it hasn't fully sunk in yet it's kind of what it feels like on the skin but it's beautiful like I love it so I have a lot to do off of camera so I'm gonna do all of my foundation concealing powder brows bronzing contour all of that goodness and then we will finish off together all right so as you can see a lot has changed but I did go ahead and go in with a palette this is the Zoeva spice of life so it has a lot of browns a little burgundy some spiciness to it we've got four mattes and six shimmers in here so far everything has been really beautiful I was a little like eh, when I swatched this second shade here but everything in performance is really beautiful and I did use nuance to blend everything out around the edges of the favor in my crease really blew that out I use surprises of life and a little bit of sheer joy in the lower lash line kind of mixed in I also use fortuitous moments all over the lid and I used a little bit of unlike any other in the corner So I don't know how long it looked like that took, but that was actually a really quick eye and it looks beautiful. These shadows blend really nicely and I've been kind of curious about Zoeva. Let me look at the price of this because the quality is really impressive. This only goes for $28. I feel like that's really, really reasonable. And if you like a little bit more shimmer with something neutral, then I feel like this is a great palette. It's perfect for fall. Um, I will note you don't get a mirror. If you like that, you don't get it but I'm fine with it, it's no big deal. I'm really impressed, the mattes blended beautifully and the shimmers blended very nicely on the eye. I would have liked maybe a little bit brighter of a shimmer since there are six of them because the one that I wound up putting in my inner corner is not that bright and it kind of creates like a little bit of a shadow in the inner corner because it's so pigmented. So maybe, you know, one of these shimmers could have been like really light and reflective. That would have been pretty, but really there's no complaints, it's a good palette. Interestingly enough, I also got this Kaja Beauty Bento, which is three eyeshadows. And if you haven't seen these, they are freaking adorable. I actually have two sets of these. So I got the shade 01 Rose Water, which looks like it has some soft pinks in it. Oh, $21, pretty cheap. So three eyeshadows and yeah, these are really adorable. And this is what I mean, like this little reflective. Ooh, let's put some of that in the inner corner. Oh, that mirror is so tiny. I was trying to look in it, but it's like, what are you doing? It just brings a little bit more light in the inner corner if you like that look. Okay, that brightened it up a little bit. I like that. And this one's all shimmers. That's the only downside if you do want mattes, but they do have matte versions of these. But specifically, if you are a shimmer girl, then these are it. But, you know, you're not expecting like a whole palette out of this, obviously. So I'm not mad at it that there's no mattes, but these two, whoa. I can see myself using especially these two, but really all three to create an eye. If you want something that's all shimmer, then I don't think you could go wrong with these. They're so pretty and I love Kaja's products. I just saw today that they have a joystick blush that looks so cute. I think I'm going to have to order it. No, it's not blush. It's powder. <laughs> That reminds me, I need to put on blush. See, my brain is trying to make connections <laughs> and I'm just like, Ooh. Okay, so I really like that. I'm happy that I got that too. Next up, so I don't forget, I got a Moda Angle Blush Brush. So this is like bright, bright blue. It's, it's pretty, it's just like, okay, so this goes for $19.99. I'm sorry, no. But they do make nice brushes. It's the Royal and Langnickel Moda Neon Angle Contour Blush Brush. And it feels nice. I will say that. But I wouldn't pay 20 bucks for a blush brush personally when there are so many affordable brushes out there. I don't know. Oh, I say that. I probably would pay that for a brush I really love, like Complex Culture or something like that. Because their brushes are, like, amazing, like, quality and look. But, I don't know. This just looks, I don't know. A lot and I nearly forgot I actually already grabbed a blush so this is one of the little bite-sized duo from elf it's the shade lychee so I'm just gonna dip into this and see how it goes 
it's pretty soft. It is pigmented. It's just, I'm making sure to really tap off the excess and it's also a fairly light shade. You can see, I kind of let a little bit more of that pigment show through. We did get two pencils from Pixie and I feel like I just got a Pixie pencil last month, but I got black caviar and bronze beam. Let's swatch black caviar. Bronze beam is really pretty. So I'm gonna use the bronze one. I normally wouldn't put a more shimmery pencil in my waterline. Like it's not chunky or glittery or anything. It's very, very silky, but I wouldn't normally still put it in my waterline, but these actually do pretty nicely. You can see it just kind of darkened it and gave it like a little sultriness. So these are nice and I, I just not in the mood to put it on top, but you definitely obviously could. And I feel like these are creamy enough where you can smudge it and then maybe use a little angled liner brush to pull it out. You can make a wing with these if you love the color. I used to do that with Clinique pencils when I worked for Clinique years ago because I didn't have anything exciting back then. So I would use, um, what was the shade? Was it Black Honey? And it was like a, a, like a deep plum. And I would just like smudge, smudge, smudge and use an angled brush and pull it out and it was really cute. So I would definitely do that with these as well. And we've got one product left. It's from La Muse and it's a deep color lip balm in cherry. It goes for 28 bucks. I really don't like this um, like concept because they basically like copied off of Fresh like with the product in the container. Like it literally has the same like satiny kind of feel to it. It's a lip balm. They look super identical except for all the wording down to the last i'm gonna try this on for the sake of the video but i don't like when makeup brands do this you know it's just like you could differentiate a little bit and these don't feel as nice as the fresh ones i feel like these are a little bit like stiffer and the fresh ones really glide over the lips i'm not really a fan of this color i don't really like um, berries on me too much. This is the shade Cherry. I feel like this is definitely more berry than anything else. So I kind of just blotted off the excess to give like just flush of color and it's cute. I don't really love it with this eye look, but you get the gist of what it looks like. So all in all, I am really, really pleased with this box that I got. I think that this was a really good one. For me, the palette and the hair trio and this serum are probably the most exciting, but I also really love my little Kaja trio. The brush is nice, don't get me wrong. Oh, I can't forget to. I already love this primer, so that's a win. So I feel like this one's really chock full of a lot of good products. So that's a $211 value. We paid 54 with the box if you got the ultimate. So if you consider two, it's got three other like deluxe sizes and then also the bag, of course. So close to a $250 value. And I'm excited about most of this. So I'm really happy with my Ipsy Ultimate. Let me know what you thought about this and how you are liking this style video. Leave me your comments below. Like I think every time I do a poll, I swear, like I get my answer and then the next day somebody will be like no do it the other way <laughs> hopefully you guys will enjoy the videos either way thank you guys so so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you probably tomorrow in another unboxing bye guys